The news of Cecilio Guel's death was confirmed by the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Among, through her ex-platform this morning. Without divulging much, Among conveyed her sympathies to Oguel's family and friends, saying, quote, It is with a heavy heart and pain that I announce the passing of our mother, mentor and role model, Imad Cecilia Atim Ogwal, the Honorable Member representing the woman of Dokolo District. Her journey into politics followed an illustrious career in different capacities between 1979 and 1986, where she worked at the Uganda Embassy in Kenya, the Uganda Advisory Board of Trade, Housing Finance Bank, where she was a founding member and chairperson of the Uganda Development Bank. Her breakout into politics started in 1985, where she acted as the Secretary General of Uganda's People's Congress Party until 1992. In 1994, she was part of the Constituent Assembly that drafted and promulgated the 1995 Uganda Constitution. Ogwal went ahead to represent the people of Lira Municipality as a UPC member but fell out with the party in 2004. In the 2006 election, while contesting on an independent ticket, she lost the seat to Jimmy Akena, the son of UPC founder Melton Obote. The former beauty queen turned politician then joined Forum for Democratic Change, FDC, party, where she contested and won the women's representative seat for the newly created Dokolo district. Until her death, Cecilio Gual still held the same portfolio in parliament. Her colleagues, including the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taewa, expressed their feelings over her death through social media. This loss is deeply felt, not only by Uganda, but by the entire world, especially the parliamentary fraternity. Your death is truly heartbreaking, Tayewa wrote on his ex wall. Cecilio Gual was nicknamed the Iron Lady due to her unyielding stance, refusing to give in to complacency or intrigue. This, most times, was evident as she talked tough while emphasizing issues of human, women, and girls' rights. So it's because of my defiant commitment to my vision, my defiant commitment to what I want to achieve is probably why they called me Iron Lady, but I don't know. Occasionally, Ogwal would make her dissatisfaction with the current regime clear, and according to her, that is what kept her coming back to Parliament. When I took my brother around the country for the campaign, we knew what the end would be, but we wanted to tell the country that story that nobody can break into your house and tell you to shut up and tell you to lie down and you don't even see the face of the person who is putting you on a gunpoint. No way. We said we are going to stand up and we are going to see who you are. <laughs> and that's what we did. We confronted the political enemy head on. And for us, we decided we were not going to attack President Museveni, it wasn't the enemy. The system was the enemy. And I want us to get it clear. Sometimes I get disappointed when they say, we must get rid of Museveni. So what? You'll get a Museveni worse than Museveni. Get rid of the system. A system that loves militarism, a system that oppresses people, that is the system we should fight. One of the significant times is her fallout with the late General Eli Tumwene, who she accused of threatening her life during a sitting of the disciplinary committee in 2019. These are the, the words that I heard from his mouth, saying it very loudly, um, gripped with anger and fury from the way he was, his gesture, his body language was very clear that uh, particularly with this, with that one hand sort of like waving behind uh, casually. It was like I was ready to pull it. I mean, we all had that feeling that probably it would, it would go for his pistol because we didn't know whether he had a pistol or not. But uh, generally, the, the ladies who were seated, the MPs who were seated around me probably would be able to clarify because I was now being confronted directly by the general. And that's why I feel that this committee need to note 
that um, Jeno did not just come to greet me. Jeno came to attack me. She also openly criticized the house when she felt there was dismal performance. The tense parliament has not actually gone down to doing uh, the real business that is expected of them. Uh, but I want to thank God that um, the oversight committees have already done very well to unearth some corruptive uh, activities in our society. Cecilio Gual died of cancer in a hospital in India. However, details of her burial are not yet available. Minister of Works and Transport in the Ugandan cabinet, Katumba Wamala, referred to the deceased legislator as a nationalist who looked beyond party colors when addressing national issues, whether locally or while in international fora. Walter Mwesi NTV.